guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my evening skincare routine. If you haven't seen my morning skincare routine, I will link that down below so you can watch and see what I do for the mornings. But yeah, this will be the evenings, which is much more about hydration, getting some more moisture back into that skin. As I said in my previous video, my skin is very much normal. I am so lucky, I have no issues. I'm gonna jinx the sound when I touch wood. I don't really get spots. I'm, my skin's not sensitive, it's not really dry. I am very, very lucky. So I can pretty much use anything that's out there. So yeah, I'm very lucky and I very much know this. And as I said in the previous video as well, this is what works for me, it might not necessarily work for you. So all because I'm saying I like it, don't necessarily go out and buy it, read some more reviews and stuff. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started with the evening skincare routine. The first thing I like to do is obviously take that makeup off. And at the moment I'm using the number 7 Beautiful Skin Cleansing Oil for Normal to Dry Skin. I do like this, it is so, it's so fun rubbing an oil onto your face to get your makeup off. It just like, it feels like you shouldn't be doing it, but it's so much fun. Just like, I like this, this does have mineral oil in, which obviously is a little bit frowned upon. The way I see it with the mineral oil is, this isn't expensive, this is £11. And I'm not leaving the oil on my face. I'm wiping it off with a flannel oil afterwards. So there's no like it's not like mineral oil is a paraben and it's bad for you. It's just the case it's a very, very cheap oil and a lot of companies, expensive companies are using it. So that's the way I've kind of seen it. Doesn't mean I'll necessarily repurchase this. I might repurchase the body shop one because that doesn't have mineral oil in. But I'm not gonna chuck it out all because it has mineral oil in, which is the first ingredient can I just add. But had I known what mineral oil was, would I have bought it? Probably, because I had a £5 off voucher. But I do like this, it does get everything off. At the moment I do double cleanse with this, mainly because I haven't bought a secondary cleanser yet. I mean that there's a choice of three, I can't do three like that. Choice, really can I? It's a choice of three at the moment. That was hard, wasn't it? Either I'm looking at, the Body Shop have a chamomile cleansing butter, which I'm really interested in, because I've never heard of a cleansing butter. That's about £13. Then I'm really interested in the Clinique Tape the Day Off uh, Cleanser. That is, I that's 22, that's a balm. And then obviously the Emma Hardy, £36 for a cleansing balm. <laughs> Maybe I'll snap for Christmas. But yeah, so this, I just put three pumps in my hand, rub it in, massage my face, and then wipe it off with a flannel at the end. And like I said, when I double cleanse, I use two pumps. Next up is toners, and this is something I'm not completely set on. This is the Garnier Softening Toner. I just use this because I had this left. As you can see, it's almost done. It is paraben free, so it is good for you. I, again, I use this on a little uh, compact, wipe it all over my face, make sure all the cleanser is gone. I'm not really sure what toner I would use if I didn't have this. I'm... Toner is really confusing to me. I don't understand what it does. I know it rebalances your pH level. But yeah, this is okay for the time being. I wouldn't spend a lot of money on toner. But I just don't see the point. So th this one's okay at the moment. When I run out, I will look for something new, but I don't know what right now. So if you have any recommendations for toner, please leave them down below. Next up is acetonin, and I had no clue what acetonin was until I searched on Caroline Hiram's blog, amazing, can I just add, and open to the world of acetonin now. It's pretty much an exfoliator for your face, so I exfoliate as well in the shower. I use the, oh, is it Clean and Simple? Is that the right brand? It's one of the other tubes from Morning Skin. I use that. That has parabens in though. But I'm using it up, I'm not wasteful. Is that really bad? It's got parabens as well, so I use it. Um, I use that in the shower at the moment. I will be looking for a different one when that runs out. But I like to use this at night. You can use this in the day as well. I don't like to, just in case my skin suddenly reacts to it. It hasn't, but just in case. So I use this at night. I do like this. This is by Nick and Fab, I haven't even said that yet. And it is the Glycolic Fix Exfoliating Facial Pads. Lots of brands do them. I bought this one because it was readily available to me in Boots. I was looking at the First Aid Beauty ones, which you can get in Full Unique. But I do like these. I don't know if they're working. <laughs> this is the thing with skincare. I don't know if it's working. I will know in 20 years, but right now I don't know if it's working. But I do like these. They are a little thin pad. Be very careful when you use these. Because I ended up taking about two or three in one. And then suddenly got this and I was like, <gasps> oh my god, what have I been doing? I've been using loads. These are easy prices, about £14. 
they stay like all of them are really well saturated which I'm really impressed about I thought I'd have to store them upside down like you do with baby wipes but the top one is so well saturated I'm really impressed by these and it does say it's a bestseller and I can kind of see why I really like these next up is my eye cream and this is by Nip and Fab as well I really like Nip and Fab as a brand but I've only just started like I've only got two products but I really like them and I'm quite interested in their other products for those that don't know I did mention this in my haul Nip and Fab are the sister brand of Radio. Radio is bloody expensive, as everyone will know. And Radio has like this is the bee sting. Radio has bee sting. Like I think Nip and Fab's got dragon venom. I think it's they've got dragon venom. So it's kind of the same thing, but obviously Nip and Fab is a lot cheaper, a lot more affordable. This is about twelve, thirteen pound. I really like this. It's really thick cream. It doesn't really have a scent to it. Obviously, be very careful if you're allergic to bees. The last ingredient is bee venom, whatever bee venom is. So if you were allergic, unless you're really sensitive, I don't know whether you would have a reaction, but obviously be very careful if you are. And yeah, I really like this. Obviously again, I rub this under my eyes, onto my brow bone, and yeah, so far, really like this. And of course the packaging is amazing. Next up, same as my morning routine, is good old Hydroluron. Exactly the same as morning, I dab on around my face and my neck, rub it all in, ready for whatever moisture is coming next. Next up is something I'm really enjoying, and this was a Carolyn Hirons recommendation as well. And this is the Body Shop Vitamin E Overnight Serum and Oil. Pretty much anything that Carolyn Hirons say is good, I will go and get. Yeah. I really like this. It's a little pipette thingy. I like to use three drops onto my fingers, like one, two, three, rub it in, and then push it on my face, and then rub it down my neck. I really like this. It's really nice and moisturised, obviously, because it's an oil. It says it gives you 8 hours of moisture, which, yeah, it, it's really good. When I wake up in the morning, my face is not oily in any way, shape or form. I do really like this. Even if you have oily skin, I wouldn't be scared about using oil. Especially at night, no one's going to see you. And then when you wake up in the morning, your skin will just feel really, really nice and soft. So I definitely recommend this. The next part of my evening skincare routine is a night cream, and this is by the brand Yes to Carrots. This is the first thing I've used from them, but I really like it. I like the packaging, it's kind of very clinical, if that's the right word to use. And yeah, so far I'm enjoying this. This is made up of 96% natural ingredients, which is really good, and is fragrance free, so it's good for sensitive skin. This is a really nice, thick, thick cream. And yeah, I'm really enjoying this at the moment. After all my like serums and my oils, I don't really need that much, but I like to put a lot on. So I, again, as a serum, bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there and rub it all in, take it down the neck, make sure you take it down the neck because your neck is part of your face and it still needs the hydration that your face does. So yeah, really like this at the moment. And the next two things are the same as my morning routine. Again, it is my lip balm. Don't need to tell you how to use a lip balm. Meh. I really want to try the Cores, or is it Cores? I'm going to go with Cores because Cores wouldn't have the ear, would it? So the Cores lip butters, they sell them in Tesco's. <laughs> Of all places, Tesco. My Tesco has just completely been redone. The beauty section is amazing. Like, makes me want to shop there rather than saying it's just for the beauty section. I'd come and be like, no food, but I've got loads of lipsticks. But yeah, they sell them in Tesco, so I'm very tempted to get that. Ramble, on to the last bit. I mean, oh, I love you. I love to spray this all over my face. Which kind of, this is for waking up and refreshing, which you don't want when you sleep. But I love it. I will use this every step of the day if I could. Please buy this. It's only £3.50 for boots. Please buy this. It is amazing. So that is my evening skincare routine complete. Once again, I really hope you like this. I've really got into skincare. Like, every moment I'm on the internet, I'm like, skincare, skincare, skincare. I just love doing my research on my skincare now. I don't know what it is. Everything's so expensive, though, isn't it? Mm. Any skincare recommendations you can give me of products you've used and you've loved. Obviously, like I said, everyone's different. But I'm all up for find new things and research and see whether it would work for me would be great because yeah I'm just really into my skincare right now skincare is overtaking clothes and makeup who would have thought not me and that is that done I really hope you like it if you did please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time for another video bye hi guys and welcome back to my channel today I am filming a video for you that I have wanted to do for quite a while